separate. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Watch over the top. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on draw. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ndaku. And you know, they still haven't found Alex Overeem's head. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set that up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect him to come off with a left hook. Oh! Holy oh, smokes! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all week. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Check. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, Anthony Showtime Pettis ready to go here as round one gets underway. This is a man with more than a dozen first round finishes spanning his mixed martial arts career. You gotta think his opponent is aware of that reality coming in tonight. Oh, no feeling out process, folks. Here we go. Edge of your seat action right out of the shoe. These dudes are trading very early in this fight. This is good. Oh, nice elbow. There he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, he's stunned bad. He's got to grab it. He's got to recover. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. So more output, at least in the early game. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Edgar's nose is bleeding now. Oh, my goodness! He's hurting bad here. This is... Oh, the smokes. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Now he's back up. Big elbow there, Lance. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, 
He's passed for trying to find that shot again. Beautiful straight right hand here from Anthony Showtime. Pennis. maybe we'll see another Superman hook later tonight, DC. Of course, he executed that move to perfection not all that long ago against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Edgar's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, big elbow. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Well, Pettis' cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, round two is upon us. Frankie Ed and fight? Anthony Showtime Pettis. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Edgar. Outstanding offering there lands from Anthony Showtime Pettis, longtime pupil of the great Duke Rufus of Rufus Sport there in Pettis' native Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right, talk to me, champ. He's got great submission skills, good offensive wrestling. He hasn't so much as even shot for a takedown tonight. I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck in between. He's good wrestling, but he's not great wrestling. He's great once the fight hits the ground, and he is unsure of how to get it there. Edgar's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, look at that. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes on. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big right hand. Oh! These are unofficial, but oh, what a head kick there as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got it hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. All right, pause in the action here. The referee never wants to be the story, but given the swelling around that eye, doctor had to be called for here, champ. Well, he's having a very difficult time picking up the opponent, seeing where his opponent is, and he's getting tagged. He's getting pieced up. And it looks as though he is going to allow the fighter to continue. So a nice pop from the crowd as that decision is made. He's got to go for it now, though. Ready to fight. Ready. Do it. Let's work, work, come on. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head. Mixed martial arts, folks. This is just digs into the body. Shot every part of himself, and now he's got 
got his opponent hurt. Oh, nice level change. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has oh, big shots raining down. Well, Pettis is cut, not getting blood in his eyes, so that's a good thing, but man, that is a nasty cut on the cheek. Certainly gonna require stitches after the fact, and uh, hopefully the cut man can stop the blood if we get to a next round. Final seconds of the round. All right, round three coming up next. This fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high octane output on both sides, and candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both going to have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's home. Third round underway. Edgar gets tattooed by that straight punch. Pettis is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big knee land. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on. Outstanding offensive takedown game. His ground and pound strikes are vicious, yet hasn't done anything. He's listened to the stories, John. He's listened to the story. He's allowed for this guy to be bigger and badder than he truly is. He's allowed for this man to become such a specimen. Such a oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission or he's losing this fight. He is not a big puncher, so he needs to get this fight to the ground and chase a submission. Under two minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, Pettis' cheek is just leaking blood all over. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. This is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to say that? He got a move out of here. Oh, massive diving punch, flush to the head. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. into that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight, and Larson got it done with the strike. Yeah, he got it done with the strike. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. 